Hello guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and welcome to another weekly video about tarantula care. So today I'm going to talk about how you should feed a baby tarantula because this is something that I am currently learning a lot from because I just recently got an Arizona blonde sling named Blinky. And right now Blinky is about the size of a dime, very tiny, and I've been noticing that it's way different than feeding my full grown Chilean rose hair Spidey. Um, first of all, the big difference is that Blinky actually eats. <laughs> so unlike uh, Spidey, who fasts for like 90% of her life and is currently fasting for several months right now, uh, Blinky actually has an appetite. So I have to feed this spider like two times a week. Um, so that's that's definitely different. Um, it's a bit more high maintenance for me, but that's totally fine because um, this is something that I wanted to do and I committed to having this pet. So this is what you gotta do. Like another big thing that I was really worried about when I got Blinky was feeding him or her just because Blinky is so tiny, like so fragile. And now they're growing fast because I am feeding them regularly and they have a great appetite and they're eating uh, and they're drinking their water and everything. But um, even though I'm feeding them baby crickets, they still blinky still looks so fragile that i'm actually afraid that even though the crickets are smaller um that sh he or she might actually be hurt um now while that hasn't been an issue because as i have learned blinky has a very healthy appetite and is a pretty um impressive hunter so i know now that blinky can handle it but this was pretty scary for me at first the first meal was definitely um a little bit nerve-wracking for me just because i really wasn't sure how a spider this small would do um you know if even their fangs were big enough to do that but turns out all is well and i was worrying for nothing um, so definitely the frequency of the food is different. Blinky needs to eat way more than Spidey um, and actually needs a regular feeding schedule so that they can keep growing and get out of this fragile sling phase. And the prey items are obviously way smaller, um, which also kind of, I had to change up my feeding strategy. So what I used to do is take like these big kind of plier things for Spidey. Um, and because Spidey's food was kind of like, she would have, um, super worms which are pretty easy to grab and I've also given her dubia roaches before and which are pretty easy to grab with like these kind of plier tong things but Blinky's food is way too tiny and I <laughs> I mean I, it's so funny because I'm not scared of spiders anymore but like crickets and worms and roaches still gross me out like I I respect them as creatures but I don't like them and I don't want to touch them so um while I don't necessarily have a problem with um handling Spidey or Blinky occasionally in a safe manner. I do not want to have anything to do with these roaches on my hand or anything like that. So I had to like use tweezers to get the crick the tiny little crickets and it took way longer than it should have just because I didn't want to touch them. And also um, baby crickets are pretty fast and elusive and hard to grab. So it was a hot mess. But anyway, so that was different too. Just like having to use like actual tiny tweezers so that I can pick these little things up and feed Blinky. So yeah. And another big difference that's really, really important to point out when you're learning how to feed a baby tarantula is not only the meal frequency, but actual the danger of molting. So because um, tr baby tarantulas molt way more often because they're growing quickly. Um, you know, Spidey, she molts every like two years because she's older. So when, I, when I'm trying to feed her, that's not really too much of a concern for me. Um, I can usually just take the food right out if she doesn't strike immediately. Or, um, you know, I know the likelihood of her molting anytime soon is not too much of a big deal. Um, even though I do watch it carefully, I don't leave uneaten prey um, in her tank regularly at all. Um, and you shouldn't either. But with Blinky, I need to be very careful that Blinky pounces on her food, his or her food, because <laughs> I still don't know, um, immediately and that they eat or, or the prey needs to be removed immediately because um, little slings, they, they molt pretty often. So I don't want to leave anything like a baby cricket or a little roach or anything in there um, for a long period of time because there's a higher likelihood that Blinky's going to molt and um, then that could be a disaster. So that is something that I would definitely suggest um, for new sling owners is that they do not leave any in prey 
alone, especially with a sling because they do molt really frequently and you don't want to have an accident. There have been a lot of reports of these horrible incidents where a cricket or a roach or something have um, attacked and eaten a tarantula just because they were molting and couldn't defend themselves. So for a sling, this is especially important and something that you don't want to do. So anyway, that's what I've learned so far. Um, you can definitely follow my journey more on this topic because uh, this is my first time raising a sling, so I'm gonna definitely be talking about it more as I become more experienced and learn more from you guys and the greater tarantula community. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna learn more about tarantula and educational info, definitely subscribe. I do put out a video every week. I also have a Tarantula Tuesday newsletter that I put out where I talk about these topics as well and uh, share some cool info along the way so you can definitely subscribe at the link below. I also have a uh, tarantula guide which is full of tons of other information about tarantulas and I also have a tarantula magazine that I am in the process of developing so um, you can have all those links at the, in the description below and thank you so much for watching guys. I will catch you next time. Bye!